Ferdinand Schorner was a prominent German military officer who played a significant role during World War II. Known for his ruthless tactics and unwavering loyalty to Adolf Hitler, Schorner's career was marked by controversial decisions and a polarizing reputation. In this video, we will delve into the life, achievements, and controversies surrounding Ferdinand Schorner, shedding light on the complex legacy of this enigmatic figure in German military history. Early Life and Military Career Ferdinand Schorner was born on June 12, 1892, in Munich, Germany. At the age of 18, he joined the Bavarian army and quickly rose through the ranks during World War I. His combat experience and leadership skills earned him multiple promotions, and by the end of the war, he held the rank of lieutenant. Role in World War II When World War II erupted, Shauna once again found himself serving in the German military. He became an integral part of the Eastern Front, commanding various divisions and gaining recognition for his aggressive and uncompromising approach. In 1944, he was appointed as the commander of the Sixth Army, replacing General Walter Model. Controversial Tactics and Command Style Shauna was known for his brutal tactics and harsh disciplinary measures. He strongly believed in a rigid chain of command and was not hesitant to enforce strict discipline among his troops. This approach earned him a reputation for being a stern and uncompromising leader. Shauna was also infamous for his scorched earth policy ordering the destruction of civilian infrastructure and the execution of deserters. While these tactics may have momentarily boosted morale among his troops, they also fueled resentment and further alienated the civilian population. Defending the Eastern Front As the war on the Eastern Front escalated, Schorner was tasked with defending the German territory from the advancing Soviet forces. He displayed great determination and led several successful counteroffensives. However, his success came at a great cost, with heavy casualties and widespread destruction. Shauna's command style, coupled with his willingness to sacrifice troops to achieve his objectives, earned him the moniker, Bloody Ferdinand, among his soldiers and adversaries alike. End of the war and controversial posture As Germany's defeat became inevitable, Shauna remained loyal to Hitler until the very end. Even as other high-ranking officers began to distance themselves from the regime, Schorner staunchly supported Hitler and his ideology. In April 1945, he was promoted to the rank of Field Marshal by Hitler, becoming the last officer to receive this prestigious title. Post-war controversies Following Germany's surrender, Schorner was captured by the Allies and held as a prisoner of war. He was subsequently accused of war crimes, particularly for his brutal treatment of both enemy combatants and civilians. Shauna was sentenced to 25 years in prison by a Soviet military tribunal but was released early in 1954, due to health concerns. After his release, he lived a relatively quiet life in Bavaria until his death in 1973. Conclusion Ferdinand Shauna was a complex and controversial figure in German military history. While he displayed tactical prowess and unwavering loyalty, his brutal tactics and extreme command style marred his legacy. Shauna's unwavering support for Hitler and his brutal treatment of both friend and foe during World War II have overshadowed any positive contributions he may have made. Ultimately, his name remains synonymous with the darker aspects of the German military during one of history's most devastating conflicts. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.